Now, hundreds of Baldwin County homes are without power and at risk of flooding tonight as the Tensaw River continues to rise due to the surging water from North Alabama. NBC 15's Corey Pippen spoke to property owners hoping tonight's storm system doesn't make a dangerous situation even worse. Folks living along the river in North Baldwin County are accustomed to high water around their homes, but they now tell me it's the highest they've ever seen it. High water is a fact of life if you live on the water. This high is a different story. Joyce Overstreet has seen flooding come and go at Upper Bryant's Landing in Stockton since 1992. And during high waters, it's not uncommon for her to boat home. But now, she says, she wouldn't risk it. There's only a foot between the house and the water now. It's dangerous for anybody right now. There are lots of floating logs, lots of debris in the water. Some folks are still braving the conditions getting to and from their homes. But as the water has continued to rise over the last few weeks due to heavy rainfall up north, so does the concern for those here on Tensaw Lake. It usually comes in and then it'll go back out and it'll come in a couple of times a year, but not this bad. We're probably looking at taking on water in the next few days unless something happens. My house has never gotten water. Probably not any of these houses have ever had water. For safety reasons, power has been cut off for more than 230 properties near the Tinsall River in North Baldwin County, and some homes have already been flooded. Officials say two people were rescued today from a rooftop on Tinsall Island. And we need it to spread out. And we need no more rain in Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Montgomery, etc. Marine police are encouraging boaters traveling through the area to use caution and create no wake, as that could push even more water toward already threatened homes. In Baldwin County tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.